and so on today's video we are going to be learning how to make this short top if that's what you want to learn stay tuned love you guys hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome to victory fashion up with victoria yay Sunday. how are you all doing hope you're fine after sunday love you guys so on today's tutorial as you see on the first page we are going to be learning how to make the top from scratch so then first thing that we're going to do is bring out your pattern paper then i'm going to be using this short pattern paper i measure the length i want to use as you can see so this is a small paper that i'm going to be using then i measure my shoulder measurement that is eight inches and i measure my under bust measurement for this i just use 12 11 inches because all the other measurements is not necessary for this outfit so you draw your straight line after that i'm going to measure my shoulder line and that is eight inches your back measurement divided by two and eight inches mine to eight inches then the next thing i'm going to be doing my neckline for this i'm going to be using three three and a half by three yes that's what i use three and a half by three you can use depends on how what your clients want and what you want so for me i use three and a half by three then i draw a straight line to make the round neck i want yes so as you can see that is what i'm drawing right now so the next thing i'm going to draw is the loop down go down by one inches you know our shoulder is not straight so that is what i'm doing this is very necessary for you to do so after that i'm going to be drawing my straight line so i'm measuring the eight inches if it's actually the same so i draw you draw the straight line so after this you draw a straight line just the way i did it and if you're watching this you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for so i measure my bust divided by four and add one inches for the allowance that i'm going to be using it to join it and i go in by half inch just to make our shoulder to be nice so i draw the ammo i draw the ammo so after that i'm just going to draw straight line just like that because we are not we are still going to be cutting this out i just cut this just to do the what i want i use you are still going to see how we are going to so i cut it out thank you so much for if you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe so the next thing that we're going to be doing right now to give us that top we want from your hammer, more you go down by two inches you can actually go down by one and a half depends on what you want i want two inches like i said you see I, you can actually go down by one and a half but me i use two inches so you go to your neck just the, your uh, uh, your hammer line then you go up by two inches or you go up by one and a half inch any one you want whatever you measure from the shoulder measurement is what you are going to measure from the front measurement so i measure two inches for the ammo so i measure two inches for the neck then you use your cuff ruler to cuff it inside just the way i did just the way i'm doing right now so guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure you subscribe and turn off notification button to see more of my video when i upload i love you guys so much please guys subscribe let's get to 1k since this why we have not even get to 1k why now so after drawing this this is how it's going to look so to cut out our back measurement from that two inches you just draw a straight line just the way i did mine so you draw a straight line for the back measurement you are not going to cut the cuff yet you are going to cut the back measurement first so that is it so we are going to be using this to cut out the back first before the front so i feel like i cut it nonsense so i later the cut it to the measurement that is there yeah that i used so then i'm going to be placing this on the fabric then you are going to see it now the way i'm going to cut the back so i will you are going to fold your fabric into two just the way i did fold your fabric into two and make sure you have excess because of the zip allowance that we are going to be putting in the back so just like this you put one and a half inch zip allowance for this dress yeah you can use two inches but i use one and a half inch for my so 
after that i'm going to be measuring one and a half inch just the way i do the just the way i told you guys in the first week so one and a half inch for the zipper allowance So you place it on top of your fabric just the way i'm doing it place it where you can actually use your pin to hold it down don't do it just the way i was supposed to use pin, but i was so lazy so i had to use this um, elastic to hold it down so for to get your uh to get your neckline for the down part i used one and a half inch by three and a half, three and a half inch by one and a half inch so i measured it and i used look just the way i'm doing then i measured one and a half inch and i draw it to the um that is the back measurement so we are going uh, the one we cut before is the front measurement so we are going to be cutting this out like this so just the way you're seeing it you cut it out and add half inch on top just for the then half and you know i've already put one inches for the pattern paper so you don't need to add one inches anymore so then i trim the down part to be the same measurement to the to the you can actually add half inch to it but i didn't have half, half inch then i split the zipper part into two just the way i did right now so the next thing that we're going to do now is to cut out the front so the cuff one i cut first is the one that i'm going to cut just the way i'm doing so this is the front part so i'm going to be placing just so you see the way it looks oh my god so place this on top of the fabric and cut it out just the way you cut out the back out so i'm placing so i'm placing it on top of the fabric now so i'm going to be cutting it out the same way but adding half half inch to the damp to the damp part and the upper part so for the sewing allowance so you can actually use paint to hold it don't do just do it the way i did mine so I didn't use pain because i'm used to cutting so well so but sometimes even if you're used to cutting you can use pin because so you're not gonna cut rubbish so this is how it's going to use so i'm going to be cutting the lining now i'm going to be cutting the lining you need lining for this dress so i'm going to be cutting the lining to it i'm going to cut the lining for the back and the front to together so this is the back i cut the lining now so this is the lining i'm cutting and if you watched it now you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for please make sure you subscribe and turn off notification join the family you're welcome i know you're subscribed you're welcome to the family so right now i'm going to be cutting out the and so right now we are going to be cutting out the and the sleeve sorry not the and so i first of all fold it into two i found out that it's not long the way i want so i now look for a way to get out so i fold it just the way you are seeing right now so i fold it i want the and to be flare i want the and actually i used to and have yard for this dress you can use two yards depends on how you just want the hand to be flare i want the hand to be flare so i use the length of 27 inches so i want the hand to be flare and trust me i want flare and just the way you're seeing so i'm going to be coughing it just the way i don't really use to measure and if you know how to cut sleeve sorry if you know how to so i'm going to be cutting it just just the way i'm doing it i'm going to be coughing my hand and take it to the next to take it to the down part and go and make the long the big part because we are not going to be folding the hand like it's only the down part of the sleeve that is going to be big but the other one is going to be the same measurement to the fabric just the way you're seeing it you can see the way i'm dragging the down part because i want it to be bigger in the and so you can actually use your normal sleeve you can do the uh, slit and this thing for yours cut your normal sleeve your add normal sleeve 
and split it and place it on top of your fabric you can actually do that if you do not understand this hand method that i'm doing you can do that make sure your normal sleeve and slip split it into different three places or four places and place it on top of your fabric and give it like a lot of space and cut it out just the way i'm doing so uh, this is the first one so i'm going to be using this to cut out the second one just the way you see it right now so as you can see so i'm cutting it out now so guys if you have not watched how i cut the normal sleeve is already on my channel you can watch it and if you have not subscribed subscribe and join the family so i already cut out the two sleeve so now we are going to the sewing part so the first thing that we're going to do is to show um is to secure secure the down part of the sleeve just the way i'm doing my hand so after that i'm going to be securing the neck the lining and the fabric together i'm going to be sewing it together you place the right side facing each other for the fabric and for this fabric is so hard to know as you can see i was checking the left side because it's so hard to know the left side and the right side so i you place the the lining on top of your right side of your fabric and sew it and notch it notch it and top stitch it down so after that you are going to do the same thing so after uh, sewing the next neck and top stitch you sew the down part and the side that's so we are going to be when we sew it finished we are going to remove it from the ammo i'm going to do the same thing to the back and i'll give it a good press let me go and do it so right now i'm done done and uh, doing what i said i've secured the down part of the hand and i've secured i've so secured the down part of the second one so i've sewed the well, the upper part and the and the back so i'm going to be notching it to before turning it inside just the way i'm doing you use your zip and your scissors to turn wherever you want it to push out push it out as you can see and you give it a good press yes this actual place need a good press you need to give it a good press iron needs well so it will not be showing the lining or anything outside so i'm going to be doing the same thing to the to the back you notch it you notch it this notch will make it your work neat you notch it and turn it to the other side and give it do the same thing to the second one and give it a good press so i'm going to be ironing it just the way i'm doing so you can see the way i'm turning i'm doing it so it will be neat and this lining will not be showing so i lion and finish so the next thing now is going to be we are going to be putting zip before putting the zip in the back you are going to use your pin to hold the two back together just the way i'm doing you're going to use your pin to hold the, you can you know we use one and a half and we have secured it so the next just the way i'm doing so you can see the way i've used pin to hold it together so the next thing that we're going to do is sew the shoulder so we are going to be using the back to turn out the shoulder just the way i usually used to do my turning of my shoulder this is the best way to do your turning because it looks so neat so i'm going to be doing this uh, the other side it's the two side then i'm going to be doing the securing the side of the hand of the sleeve too then after that i'm going to come and show you guys how i'm going to, uh, to do to tell you guys the next step that we're going so after that i'm going i've done it then i'll give it a good press in the neck in the shoulder so everything looks so nice so right now i'm still going to be changing the zip i prefer you guys to lose zip that is able to open so look at this i was thinking of using this before later i actually decided to use another zip so you're going to be using zip that you can open finish you get so you're going to see what i'm trying to say so i'm going to be putting this zip there right now and come and show you guys how it looks so i'm going to be removing the pin and go and secure the zip
from there you guys how i'm going to be placing this thing so as you see i changed the zip because i wanted something i could be able to remove and place back so i changed it to black zip so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to place the fabric and the sleeve together just the way i'm doing you can see it's already giving out the the vibe we need it's so beautiful already so right now we are going to you are going to notch the center of your sleeve just the way i do it so i told you guys that we are going to secure the side of the sleeve no it's not yet time so you say notch the side of your zip and sew it with your fabric and i'm going to do the same thing to the other side and come and show you guys so i'm done i did it and i weaved the inside because i needed a great neat job for this outfit it has to be given because i want to use this for his, a fashion show in church yeah so after that as you can see this is it this is looking so the next thing that we're going to do is secure the space you measure your bust measurement and sew it to the hand measurement so for me it is 40 inches so i'm going to be using so so as you can see i want to do the measurements right now measure it 10 inches and that is like one inches that i give to it so i measure the other side to the one inches so i'm going to be securing it to the arm and to the sleeve and weaved the sleeve that is all for this outfit then i'm going to be going and go and do it and come and show you guys very soon yeah i love the outfit it's so simple to me classy and beautiful like you can wear it on your jumpsuit you can wear it on your top on your gown anyhow you want to rock it just rock it silly like rock it way <laughs> oh my god this is so beautiful so we are done with this outfit and if you watched it now you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for what are you waiting for join the family of victory let us work together and learn together and enjoy life together thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed subscribe because we are done with this dress it's so beautiful and classy and simple to make yeah it's so simple to make and very very simple thank you so much for watching see you on my next video make sure you subscribe do not forget to give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below to tell us what you want us to so next thank you guys so this is the what inspired me to the love you guys see you on my next video bye